Hi, my name's Dave and welcome back to One Acre in the Napa Valley for Harvest 2010 here in the Oak Knoll District. We're just getting started, getting underway, trying to beat the rain that's uh, on its way in. So let's go take a look and see how they're doing harvesting uh, the 337. Linda, how's it going? It's going good. Yeah, got the first few rows yeah. done. Got Darren in there. Yeah. There's Linda and there's Darren. Hi there. Enrique's down at the far end there. Got through a few rows. It's actually going pretty quick. Yeah, let's go see how they're doing in the back. We're picking grapes. We're picking grapes. Well, we're ready to start crushing the grapes. You can see in the bin there how they look. And I'm going to turn the machine on. Got a little auger in the top. And we'll dump it in and get the crush underway. Looks nice, looks good, nice shape, looks real good. Beep beep. Chop chop, chop chop. Move it or lose it. Boy, this is really a gold mine. All right, we got, we got grapes to crush. If you look at them, you can see that they're, they're still nice and dry. Um, very little raisining on them and uh, they're nice and plump. And because they're so loose like that, we don't have any, you know, there's no mold issues in there anywhere. So yeah, they're good. It's just kind of fun being out here. It's the first time I've actually uh, clipped grapes. So it's really fun. It's a nice experience. Is we're going to throw some dry ice in on the must. The reason is, is what we want to do is we want to cold soak this for a little bit. We don't want the fermentation to start. So when we put the sulfur in, that kills the natural yeasts. And what we can do now is, is we can cold soak that for a day or so because some of the compounds in the skins are water soluble and some are more alcohol soluble. So if we started the fermentation right now, then those that are water soluble wouldn't really extract as well. Now we'll be able to let it soak, let it soak for a couple of days or so. And then uh, once that soaks, does a cold soak like that, then uh, oh, day and a half or two days, then we'll start the, uh, we'll put the yeast in and start the alcoholic fermentation. By then the extraction from the water soluble compounds will, will be done. And the reason we do it is, is in, a, in a bigger winery, um, when you're not making them in just picking bins like this, uh, they'll often have tanks that are jacketed so they can temperature control the tanks. But since we can't really do that, this is uh, the next best thing. That's why it's kind of nice. It's a little drizzly or rainy today. It's not too hot and the fruit's, uh, fruit's nice and cool and this will let it cold soak uh, for, for a little bit and, and get the kind of consistency that we want. Here we go. He's dumping sulfur in and this will actually protect it against the, uh, the air. Acts in, as an antioxidant. So what's your technique? Do you have a technique? Uh, yeah, try not to get any of the moldy ones. Try not to get the raisiny ones. And make sure I don't cut my fingers. I found some grapes right here. Not many, but they're not raising like the others in this row. Pick and go, pick and go. Now I know what all those workers in the fields feel like, only they are so fast. And, and razzing each other. And, and we are so slow, but hey, it's just fun being out here with the friends, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, little yellow duckies here. Look at yeah. all in the row, isn't that Black. wonderful? Are you sure my yellow jacket? <laughs> Everybody's jealous of us. <laughs> You know, it's uh, different from the normal routine in life, and it just, uh, you get to release all the stresses and the pressures. Yeah, so what we're doing is, is the uh, friends are bringing in the, the uh, containers here full of grapes. We're just dumping them in this auger right here, and then they're kind of going down into the uh, crusher to stemmer. The stems are coming out here. And then the grapes, as they're getting really crushed and pulverized, they're obviously going down here. And then we're just trying to press them a little bit more with this tool here. 
really try to get as much of the juice out as we can. Well, I'm just taking these grapes over to where they're stemming them and crushing them up. So I'm just collecting them from all the hard workers we got right here. <laughs> Okay. We're just pulling a few of the little rachises and jacks out a little bit. Some of them are going through because the berries are so small, but we'll get we'll get those out by hand as we go. Oh, I think I missed my turn off. Oh, oh, that's Look at all the beautiful wine. Hey Dave, I got a question for you. How long before the new seeds will actually start producing wine at your new vineyard. Oh, it's a good good question. Yeah, you probably saw those ones I had marked. What I'll do, and this one isn't one that's marked, but what I'll actually do is I'll take a piece of cane like this, and we'll cut it about that long, and then each of these buds here, we'll cut those individual buds out, and then we'll graft those onto rootstock. We'll do that over the winter. And then uh, probably in January, sometime once these go dormant, and then in the winter we can actually uh, save a little bit of time by starting the plants in the nursery over the winter. They'll push and start growing, and then by the time we get to oh probably May or so, we'll plant them, and then all of these will be already growing in the nursery. So it'll actually save almost a year awesome. when we work it out that way, versus if we just did the field grafting. Yeah, that's all I'm doing, just peeling avocado, taking the peel off. It's already grated. Where should we put it? You want those pretty dishes that you have. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Madison, how are you? Yeah, you're doing a great job. Looks great. Oh, well, I think I missed my turn off. Well, we've got it all finished. This is the last one for the harvest of 2010. What? And we'll put it right in. Here's our last one. Sure been a good harvest and really appreciate everybody's help. Turned out real well. Been a little bit of an unusual year weather-wise, but all in all, it's turned out real well. So we'll certainly look forward to seeing how the wine turns out. And uh, thankfully, we didn't have uh, too much rain this morning. So there it goes. So from one acre here in the Napa Valley, thanks very much for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.